Working out isn't about building a physique, it's about building a lifestyle. And so ultimately, people are going to respect you not only just on your physique, but on the lifestyle that you built up in order to achieve that physique. And so you cannot achieve a good natural physique by doing unhealthy habits. And so people are going to ultimately respect you because you changed, because you put your past version of yourself down and became a new creation. And so ultimately, I had to let go of those video games. I had to get rid of the hub. I had to get rid of eating ice cream every single day. I had to get rid of the things that I did that bring me pleasure every single day in order to achieve this point. And so when people, for example, in my family, They'll say, oh yeah, look at you, you're becoming strong. Yeah, they're complimenting me on my physique, but they're mainly complimenting me on my choice and my change in my lifestyle. But you see, I wasn't always so motivated. I wasn't always so driven. I wasn't always this like disciplined version of myself. This came from being in a dark place for a very long time. And so I ultimately had to put that past version of myself down in order to become my new self, my best self. And I'm still improving each and every single day. But in order to improve, like you cannot just do those same things over and over and expect different results because that is the definition of insanity. And so if you're out here trying to build a good physique, but you're doing all these goofy habits, it's not going to work out. You're not going to be blessed with a good physique just because you think of it, right? Faith without works is dead. So if you truly have faith that you can achieve this physique, you will ultimately go for it. You will put that faith to work. You'll start going to the gym. You'll start doing those workouts. You will make no excuses because you ultimately believe in yourself. And that is the key. The key is to believe in yourself, in yourself self right we are made in god's image and so when you're thinking of yourself when you start to believe in yourself believe that you can do these things you are ultimately believing in god because god made you in his creation and so ultimately when i was in this down bad position i had a lack of faith i had a lack of belief in god and that's why i was the way i was i mean if you think about it right I had a lack of faith, which is why I pleased the flesh, which is why I went after the things of this world, which ultimately equaled the worst version of myself because I chose to value my flesh. I chose to please my own desires and that brought corruption. But the moment I started to believe in myself, the moment I started to believe that I was made in his image. This is when I started to make true progress. This is when I started to rebuke the kingdom of darkness. Because faith is believing in the things that you don't see. So just because you don't see it working out at the very moment, my boy, doesn't mean it's not going to work out at all. Like for me, for example, when I started my self-improvement journey, I was three months, four months into working out consistently every single day, seven days a week. And I barely saw results. And so if I told myself three months in, Man, I feel like giving up. I don't see the results of my work. I'm literally going crazy every single day. Three months in, three months straight, and I'm barely seeing results. I might as well give up now. Then that is the ultimate lack of faith. This is you basically telling yourself that you don't believe in yourself. And that's you also saying that you don't believe in God because you are made in his image. So why are you lacking this faith? Maybe it's because you don't see the results now, but that is the ultimate test of faith, of your patience, of your endurance, of your discipline. God is truly testing your faith at this moment to see if you're actually a man of your word, if you're actually not just all talk, if you're actually truly dedicated, if you actually truly have faith in what you do. And so you may go through periods, months, maybe even years before you can actually get to that end goal, before you can actually 
truly start to see results. But you see, God is already a hundred steps ahead of you, but right now he is testing you on your faith, just like a teacher tests the student to see if you can actually pass the test, right? And in order to pass that test, you need to have that faith. You need to stay strong in your faith in him so that you can go through all these storms, so that you can go and overcome that self-doubt, that fear, that anxiety. You can overcome all these things through Christ. Your body reflects your habits, your lifestyle. And so obviously God doesn't judge the outward appearance, but he judges the inward appearance. But you see that inward appearance, this is where it all changes from that inward appearance. So when you make that choice, to delay gratification when you make that choice to rebuke the kingdom of darkness this is an internal choice that you are making and overall your body is going to react to that and so the body is the temple of the holy spirit and so we got to start taking care of it right we got to start taking care of that temple you don't want to welcome god in an unclean unhealthy home you want to welcome the holy spirit within you in a strong healthy clean home which is your body which is your temple and so by you doing these habits by you living a lifestyle that is pleasing to god obviously you will get rewarded if you work out like yeah you're being pushed through your limits you're surpassing your limits but ultimately this is a test of faith a test of your discipline and god will reward that that's why you ultimately come out stronger not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Stay blessed, stay wealthy, and remember to keep surpassing your limits. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey.